relax. Now, I know that psychic has a lot of credibility. She works at a kiosk, and she doesn't appear to charge for her services, but I think I am a better judge of whether you and I are destined to be together than her, and I brought proof. Happy early Valentine's Day, Summer. Mermaid poem. That's how I knew, even in fifth grade, that you were the one. It's pretty awesome, huh? Oh, my God. I know. I didn't write this. What? I remember that day. Okay, Holly, watch this. Yo, I'll tell you what a wall what a real Lizzie wall. Oh my god, Summer, you are scary spies. Ooh, Taylor Townsendler. <laughs> or more like Taylor Dorkson. Hey, Summer, are you finished with your poem? What poem? The original poem that we're reading out loud. We're going in alphabetical order, and we're on R. I already finished mine, even though I'm a T. I may spend my night doing a polish. Okay. We're going to start today with more readings of your original poems. Who are we up to? Summer Roberts. Summer. Give me your poems. Summer, have you no ethics whatsoever? OK, you can come to my birthday party. Really? OK, here. Summer, we're waiting. Wish I was a mermaid. Speak up, Miss Roberts. I wish I was a mermaid and was friends with all the fish. A shiny tail and seashells, that would be my wish. Lovely. But this mermaid poem is, it's our roots, it's our mythology. What if our mythology is a sham? Something that we invented. What if we are each other's Jimmy Cooper? What? You know, the one before the one. The one that you think is right before you meet your Sandy Cohen? Wait, are we saying that because Taylor wrote the poem, she's my Sandy Cohen, because as delicious a twist as that would be, it's not gonna happen? No. What I'm saying is, what if we're not destined to be together? 